Welcome to the next lecture on social innovation team and hierarchy. If any big success has to happen, there has to be a team and in a team there has to be hierarchies. So, if you are looking for a social innovation startup company to run, you should know who all should be there in your team and what is their roles and responsibilities. In this lecture, we will first see the introduction, then types of teams in social innovation, team dynamics in social innovation, key elements of effective team dynamics, benefits of strong team dynamics, team hierarchy, hierarchy in social innovation, challenges of hierarchy in social innovations, innovations and finally, balancing hierarchy and collaboration. Social innovation teams are groups of people who work together to create social innovation. Hierarchy is the way that a team is organized with some members having more power and authority than others. This is only to make sure the success happens at the end of the day. Hierarchy is the way the team is organized where more power is given to some people and authority than others. So, there is a leader, there are team members. Leader has more power and it, he has more authority. Now, if you make it like a team, a project based team, for example, if pro for project 1, he becomes the team leader, project 2, he becomes the team leader, project 3, she becomes the team leader. So, the team will have 10 members. So, one of them, um, one among them will always become a leader who will have more power and authority. Team dynamics and hierarchy can have a significant impact on the success of social innovation initiatives. Social innovation team is required. I have told you innovation cannot happen individually. There has to be a team with complementary knowledge. So, hierarchy must be there and few people will have more power and authority. It can be financial power, it can be uh, the leave sanctioning power or whatever it is. Understanding the various types of team in social innovation enables organization to assemble teams that complement the complement the nature of the project and optimize their potential for success. Complement and optimize. Different types of team exist within social innovation initiatives, each with the unique characteristics and purpose. For example, flat team, hierarchical team. Flat team means everybody in the team has almost equal power and if one person is not there, the other person takes over and behaves like a leader. So, flat team means it promotes creativity and collaboration. Nobody is the boss. Today's startup culture is successful because of flat team. Lot of younger generation people would like to work on flat team culture. So, here it promotes creativity and collaboration because everybody feels they are part of the team and everybody feels that they are the boss. Suitable for projects emphasizing collective input and innovation can happen through flat teams. Hierarchical teams emphasizes structure and decision making. It is 
suitable for projects requiring a defined chain of command. So, here there is no hierarchy H I E R A R C H Y hierarchy all team members have equal status. Moment everybody is equal creativity and collaboration can happen. Moment you say you are a leader then there are a followers. So, when we talk about hierarchical team it is clear hierarchy with with varying levels of power and authority. Okay. It hierarchical team it emphasizes structure and decision making. So, flat team I have already said all team members or equal power to all. So, it promotes creativity collaboration, it is suitable for projects emphasizing collective input and innovation. What is team dynamics in social innovation? Team dynamics play a crucial role in the success of social innovation initiatives. So, effective team dynamics enables collaboration, creativity and resilience. Collaboration give everybody uh, a power or give everybody's voice uh, and work with each other collaboration. Creativity is something which comes out of collaboration. Resilience means sustenance, allowing teams to navigate through challenges and, and seize opportunities. Team with high levels of trust cooperation and communications are more likely to be successful than teams with low level of these factors. Trust, cooperation and communication are very, very important. The key elements of effective team dynamics include communication, foster, idea exchange, and problem solving. This is communication, collaboration is leverages, diverse skill for innovative solutions. Then trust is creates a safe space for risk taking and idea sharing. And the diversity is brings fresh ideas, fresh perspective and enhances creativity. So, these are the four elements, key elements of effective team building is communication, collaboration, trust and diversity. So, communication fosters the idea, collaboration uh, diverse link uh, skills uh, we are trying to join hands, trust is create a safe space for risk taking is the trust and diversity is bring fresh perspective and enhance creativity is diversity. So, these elements can drive creativity, overcome challenges and promote social innovation. What are the advantages or the benefits of strong team dynamics? What is team dynamics? We saw here team, team dynamics 
communication, collaboration, trust and diversity are the elements. So, if you have a strong team dynamics, then the advantage is going to be enhanced creativity and innovation can happen, increased productivity and efficiency can happen, improved problem solving and higher motivation and engagement. So, these are some of the advantages of strong team dynamics. Real life examples of successful social innovation team with strong dynamics is Ashoka's strong team dynamics. Here it is committed to social entrepreneur, it is effective collaboration and teamwork, it talks about identification and support of social innovation, scaling of social impact and overall 3500 social entrepreneurs are getting supported through Ashoka's strong team dynamics. It is an example of strong team dynamics. When you are trying to have hierarchy, the team hierarchy is the way that a team is organized with some members having more power than authority than the other. A well defined hierarchy can help to enhance, ensure that everyone on the team knows what is their responsibility, the team, everyone on the team knows what is their responsibility and that decisions are made in a timely and a efficient manner. So, we talk about uh, roles and responsibilities when we try to talk about hierarchy. Different levels of hierarchy and their responsibilities in a team are top level, middle level and lower level. So, top level means here project leaders or managers responsible for overall decision. Middle level is team, team leads. Team leads or coordinators responsible for, for specific areas or tasks. Lower level is individual team members contributing their expertise and skills. So, these are the different levels of hierarchy, top level means project leaders, middle level means team leads lower level means individual teams. So, everybody tries to do their role and responsibility perfectly to make sure the team finally wins. So, hierarchy is also followed in certain organizations the success story is flat teams. So, hierarchy in social innovation, the hierarchy in social innovation team fosters efficient and accountable, effective resource utilization, ultimately driving progress and positive social impact. Benefits of making hierarchy in social innovation team are clear roles and responsibilities. One is efficient task allocation. And the second one is accountability, accountability for, for assigned responsibility. So, that is the uh, benefit of hierarchy. So, clear roles and responsibilities are given, streamlining decision making is structured decision making 
making process and then you have faster decision making. in critical situations. Okay. The third one is going to be uh, efficiency. So, it is enhanced efficiency is enhanced coordination and communication. The next one is streamlined workflow management. So, these are the benefits uh, when we are trying to follow hierarchical in social innovation. The roles and responsibilities are clearly drafted, streamlined in decision making. So, structured decision and faster decisions can be made. Enhanced efficiency is enhanced coordination and uh, communication streamlining the workflow. So, hierarchy in, in social innovation is also very important. So, that you try to foster efficiency, accountability, effective resource utilization, ultimately uh, driving progress uh, and uh, positive social impact. What are the po potential challenges and limitations of hierarchical hierarchy in social innovation? So, the power dynamics is concentration, concentration of decision making, making authority at the top that is a challenge. The next one is limitation, uh, limited participation. Uh, it discourages discouragement of active collaboration, active collaboration from lower level team members. Stifled creativity is rigid hierarchy, rigid hierarchy may hinder new ideas, may hinder innovative thinking, innovative thinking okay. and the last one is slow adaptability, it, it uh, decision making process may impede quick adaption to change. So, slow adaption will start happening. So, these are some of the potential challenges and the limitations of, of hierarchy in social innovation, power dynamics, limited participation, stifled uh, creativity and slow adaption. Addressing hierarchical related uh, challenges, you have to empower participatory decision making, creating a culture of openness and inclusion and encouraging flexibility and adaptability are some of the ways you can address the hierarchical related challenges. Importance of balancing hierarchy with collaboration, uh, so effective collaboration can happen, so here it It is trying to pool diverse, diverse perceptives, perceptives for innovation the next is inclusive decision making. So, engage team members, team members for ownership, uh, ownership and shared responsibilities. Uh, 
and then the adaptive and agility we have already seen uh, balancing a hierarchy uh, with collaboration balancing hierarchy hierarchy with collaboration collaboration for flexible and response to change. So, the importance of balancing hierarchy is very important, effective collaboration, uh, inclusive decision making and adaptability and agility are very, very important. Example 1, let us uh, see a top C firm, a flat hierarchy and a collaboration. This company works on uh, on flat hierarchy, strong culture of collaboration happens, it uh, the encouragement of idea sharing and suggestions are most welcome, focus on providing fresh healthy food to low income communities in New York City. The next example is Wikimedia Foundation, uh, the which is a hybrid of hierarchy and uh, collaboration, hybrid hierarchy is, is the most important buzzword here. It has a strong culture of collaboration, encouragement of idea sharing and suggestions are uh, very much accepted. It focuses on operating Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects. So, this is a balancing of hierarchy and collaboration happens. So, the first example is uh, completely flat hierarchy and collaboration top C and here Wikimedia is uh, hybrid hierarchy and collaboration. To summarize uh, this lecture, a strong team dynamics and balanced hierarchy are essential for successful social innovation. Effective team dynamics, communication, collaboration, trust and diversity is very, very important. Balancing hierarchy fosters efficiency inclusivity and adaptability. Address challenges are power dynamics and limited participation are, these are the challenges which we face. Examples of Topsy uh, and Topsy and Wikimedia Foundation are, are dealt with where Topsy is flat and hybrid. The different team types are hybrid team, hierarchical team and flat teams. Leverage team dynamics, hierarchy and structures for sustainable impact is one of the major contributors in social innovation. So, the assignments for a college to run which method do we follow and why. So, you have to write the assignment on this. The next one is more examples for flat and hierarchy system. So, here at least exam more examples means 5 more examples, uh, you have to write about flat and hierarchy. Then the other thing is college uh, to run, which method do we follow and why. So, these are the two assignments which are supposed to uh, go through material and then uh, write the assignment for 10 pages. These are some of the references, thank you very much.